What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back to Solomon's Vineyard. I'm your boy, Mr. Russell Mack, the OG. And today I've been tagged by Fat Boy over at Fat Boy Fragrances. And the name of the tag is My Sentimental Fragrances. Fragrances that are near and dear to my heart. So hang out with your boy for a few minutes. I'm going to talk about about 11 fragrances and I'm getting out of here. So meet me on the other side. Let's roll. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. We're back in the building, and today we're talking about my sentimental fragrances. And a lot of these fragrances I'll be talking about, uh, which is about 11 of them, are fragrances that are, are near and dear to my heart. They bring back some nostalgia. Um, so we're going to get into that, but before I do, let me welcome you to Solomon's Vineyard. If you're new and this is your first time, why don't you consider becoming a part of the family? Go on and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Then there was a bell icon. There's the bell right there. Hit it. Options will open up. Hit all. That's all you need to do. When I upload a video, a notification will come directly to your feed. All right? Let you know I'm on the air. How about that? Share the video, like the video. We need it. Our analytics need it, all right? Share it with your family, your friends, your loved ones, okay? Don't forget to comment below in the comment thread. It's down there. You'll see it. Um, your scent of the day. What kind of fragrances do you like? Do you know about any of the fragrances on this list, okay? That's it. We're going to get off into the video. Fat Boy, he tagged me. Thank you, my brother. He's a great brother. He has great content and he's growing. His channel is growing. Go help him. Go subscribe to his channel for your boy, all right? He has a decant store, an online decant store. Check him out um, and uh, let him know Russell Mack told you to come over there, all right? So, before I get into the video, I'm going to ask Talia. Talia, read for me the definition of sentimental. Of or prompted by feelings of tenderness, sadness, or nostalgia. So it's, we talked about nostalgic fragrances the other day, but this is the feeling you get from the fragrance. It's, it's the emotion um, that's attached to the nostalgia, okay? Uh, it, it's the feeling you get. So this is what we'll be talking about, sentimental fragrances, fragrances um, that invokes uh, a feeling, of not, not in this case, no sadness, tenderness though. So the first two fragrances, I'm going to talk about and show you. I'm going to be real quick, y'all, because a lot of these fragrances, y'all have seen them. You've seen me preview them. You know all about them. So I don't need to take much time with them. I'm just going to show them to you and keep moving. And this is almost gone here. Versace Oud Noir by Versace. And I have this one. Mont Blanc's Individual. Why are these so sentimental for me? Both of them are well used, as you see. This is a big bottle right here, all right? This is a legendary fragrance. It's been around a long time. Sweet, berry, fruity fragrance. It's got a coconut, I'm sorry, a chocolate note in it that bounces out all that sweetness. This one here is one now that I found out is discontinued. And right when I begin to really love it and want it and got to have it, they discontinue it, but it's still out there if you want it. It's online, so get your hands on it, okay? Versace Oud Noir has got that uh, that bitter lemon, that bitter orange in it. I'm sorry. It got oud and agarwood in it. A little tobacco. It's got incense. Really, really nice fragrance. Supposed to be, uh, or should I say, smell close to um, oud wood by Tom Ford, but I, I beg to differ. I say this one here stands on its own, and surprisingly, a lot of quality. This is one, um, and, and, and there's another one. Okay, so I'm getting them out the way. These, this one here, Bentley for Men Intense. You see, well used, beautiful bottle, really heavy bottle. <sighs> I love this stuff, y'all, and I don't wear it as much. Here's why. Because these three fragrances are fragrances I got. This was the first time I ordered online, and I ordered the Oud Noir, the individual, the Bentley for Men Intense came together in the same box. And these were some of my first previews. They all came together 
and it, they, they were with me and started with me on my frag journey. And just to think, a hundred and something subscribers later, some uh, almost a year and something later, guess what? I still have them. I'm surprised. So they are very near and dear to my heart. I really need to get another one of these. It's Versace, and I will. Very sentimental to me. So just set them on to the side so we can keep it moving, y'all. All right, that's Bentley for Men Intense. Uh, Mont Blanc's Individual and Versace's Oud Noir. All right. Another one, sentimental to me, is my bottle of Creed. I still have some left. And this is, uh, was given to me, actually. And I still got a third of a bottle left. I'm trying not to use it. It's y'all know it's a legendary fragrance. It's one of the most cloned in the world, or should I say, in Fragcom. I've had this also early in the game. I still have it. I love it. It's an incredible scent. Um, this stuff just performs. It does. It does magic on my skin. It performs miracles. It call, I think it calls stuff to happen for me when I wear it. None other than Creed of Vintage, you all know about it. I know you all, some of you love it, some hate it. That's the way the fragrance game is. It's, it's subjective, you're not gonna love everything, but then there are some things that can't nobody stop you from loving, you feel me? And this is one of those fragrances for me, all right? Creed of Vintage by Creed. Let's move on. Uh, the next one, so we have, let me, let me count them y'all. Um, 11, 10, 9, 8. All right, so we're at 7. This one here is Signature by Sahara. We not too long talked about this one, remember? And the reason why this one here is so sentimental to me, before I got into FragCom, I participated in a giveaway on TLTG uh, channel, Ross. I was, I believe, the second place winner, and I won this bottle in his giveaway. It blew my mind. I was so shocked. So thank you again, Ross. It was my introduction into Zahara fragrances and my introduction to Zahara, the man, the gentleman himself, okay? So I will always love this fragrance. It's one of my most coveted fragrances. It's one I will always have. Um, I'm currently trying to get, in, get into the newer um, op, um, the, the newer offers, offerings from Zahara, but if I don't, I got this one, four ounce bottle, and this stuff is incredible. It's got that myrrh note, tobacco in it, the lavender done right, perfectly blended. Man, it doesn't get any better than this. You wanna really, really make a great impression, put on a suit spray on this right here. I ain't got to say a word. I'm telling you. Go wear this to a job interview. You'll probably get the job. Alright? I may need to do a video like that. Fragrances that will help you get a job. Alright? <laughs> anyway, another one that's sentimental. And I'm going to tell you why. Let me see. We in six. Let me see. One, two. This one here is Pasha D. Cartier. Y'all should know I'm going to always talk about Pasha. It's one of my best fragrances. It's one that I keep, I covet, I love. And I, I'm going to tell you about uh, why this is so sentimental. But this one goes along with some others. So I'm going to open it. I got this one, Pasha D. Cartier by Cartier. Get it. Get it. Get it. That's all I can tell you. It's outstanding. Beautiful Middle, Middle Eastern scent. But this stuff works, it performs, it projects. Women love it, men love it, and it smells so masculine, deep and dark and sensual and seductive. Man, get your hands on it, okay? So, this one, Toy Boy, it's another one. I'm gonna tell you why in a few minutes, but I wanna get all of them together, all right? Number five, this one here is one that really, really near and dear to my heart. You all know the scent. It has now created a following. It got it got its little cult following now. Everybody want it. And a lot of people have it and previewed it and talked about it. And hey, the juice is why. It's it's a reason. This is a high quality juice. It really should be called a niche fragrance, okay? Moschinos or Machinos Toy Boy. 
If you don't have it and you hadn't smelled it, get your hands on it, all right? Another one that I'm gonna add to these to this this couple here is by the fireplace. I did, last year for my birthday, my 45th birthday, I got this one. I was it was given to me by my my, my girl and my, my daughters. They surprised the hell out me. But then the memory that came along with this one. It reminded me of my grandmother's house, man, it, where, I, where I spent a lot of time, a lot of my formative years, happened right up there at Pearl Mac. It was my grandmother's name, Pearl Mac. Everybody called her Pearl Puy. She had a pump house <clears throat> where we drew water. We was up every morning at 4 o'clock carrying water in. All 13 of me and my cousins and brothers and sisters. I got one sister. We all brought water in. And we all did the chores, and she would make those big old biscuits in the morning, or either flapjacks, which Steve served, that, that yellow can. Mm -hmm. But then, when it cold, she liked the fireplace, and this is that memory. Oh man, the pecans, the, 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 uh, the vanilla extract, and then the, the smoke and the fire and the roasting pecans when it would, when the fireplace would go out in the wood, man. Listen, crackling wood on the fireplace. Man, listen, I can go on and on about this, but this is another one that very, very sentimental to me and nostalgic to me, okay? So we got Pasha Toy Boy, all right? This is one, two of the fragrances. Pasha and Toy Boy survived. You guys, many of you guys know about the tree that fell on my house, and I, these are two of the fragrances that made it. A lot of them broke. So I'm basically rebuilding my collection. And these two were unharmed. We were unharmed, but a lot of my fragrances died, burst, and was destroyed. But these are two of the ones that made it out, and this is why they are so sentimental to me. I got a great, a nice little bit of juice left, and the bottles are unhurt, as you see, okay? Real nice, y'all, real nice. Um, of course, by the fireplace was a birthday gift. Of course, it's going to be sentimental to me. Given to me by my daughters and my, my, and my, and my girl, three of my favorite people, my, really my best support, all right? Uh, now, we threw with those. I got one, two, three, and the last three coming from Mansell. Said Rock Boise, you guys already know about it. This is sentimental to me. It made it. Okay, it traveled with me all the way here to this hotel. Out of all the moving we did, plus this, I got this fragrance during a time when me and my my wife and my family and my girls we were going through a very tough time financially, and my girl made the sacrifice and she let me get this fragrance. I wanted it so bad; it was all over Fragcom. And I just had to have it. We ordered it from Venba Fragrances. I'll never forget, it came in two days. And she got it for me. And this is why I love this one so much. And not only that, the scent is outstanding. Fat Boy, you know, JP, you know, all of you guys know about Cedric Boise. You, you new people, if you don't know about it, if you hadn't smelled Cedric Boise, you need to order it. Go online, look for Mansura's Cedric Boise, all right? Julio Ayala, I know you know. Last two, and I'm getting out of here, y'all, is number one, um, Instant Crush. I don't have to really talk about it because you all know why this is sentimental to me. JP gave it to me. He sent it to me. This is very rare in the times in which we live. It, it may not mean nothing to some of you, but to me, for a man to give me, to give you a fragrance like this niche fragrance hard as it is now to get money all right hard as it is out here for some of us and for him to do that it's i'm i'm, I'm speechless okay so again said Boise, instant crush which i'll be previewing or talking about soon the last one i gotta say it I got to say it and it was one of my favorite purchases it's one of the f purchases that give me joy that I got it in its full bottle. And this is none other than red tobacco. And what a way to finish this video. 
one of the most powerful fragrances on this list. And I love it. I've been waiting on this fragrance throughout my whole entire time in Fragcom. And I'm right at 160 subscribers now. I'm eight short and I'm climbing and I'm closer to the 200 mark. And for me to have this fragrance so I can preview it and compare it and wear it and do whatever I want to do with it is outstanding. I, I'm very sentimental about it. I almost want to cry, y'all. So all of these, all 11 of these fragrances are very sentimental to me. You all know all about them. And basically, this is just a video where I can show just a little of my collection. And these are fragrances that are, all of them, holy, a, a, a special, special place in Fragcom. They all are popular, or every last one of them, okay? They all have gotten their shine at one point or another, okay? So, I'm through. Thank you guys for clicking on the thumbnail, stopping by and commenting, subscribing, liking, and sharing the video. You guys know I love you. All right, go and get me to 200 subscribers, and then we can start hitting, heading up for 500 subscribers so I can get to this big giveaway, all right? So I love you guys. I'm gone. I'll see you for the next preview. Fat boy. Thank you, brother. Talk to you soon. Peace.